Yeah, it's definitely a privilege, obviously. Um, there's a pretty, pretty good group of guys um, eligible this year, so it's a privilege to uh, join the ones that have already got it. But obviously the most important thing is we got the win and um, that's what you play for, I guess, and it was really enjoyable and uh, I'm really happy just for the, for the guys that we, we came away with the four points. Pretty nice sort of reward for yourself for the way that you sort of settled into the club and settled into seeing your footing and things like that. Yeah, I think, along with the other guys as well, all the other young guys, um, we're settling in pretty well and uh, we're pretty lucky that we're, we're getting games. Um, it's sort of fast-tracking our experience and although there'll be ups and downs, I guess, along the way, it's uh, probably the best learning curve and um, we're having fun and yeah, really enjoying each week. Do you feel like you've cemented your place in the starting side? Oh, I'm not quite sure cemented. Um, I definitely feel like Lepra has confidence in me and. Um, I guess all the coaches back back me out in the field, but I wouldn't quite say I cemented just yet. What Flipper said to you though, like keep it going? Yeah, um, I think each week I've sort of improved aspects, um, but there's probably always been something to work on. But um, on the weekend, he was really happy with my game, and uh, yeah, he's, he's been really supportive. Where do you see your game as being? I mean, are you happy with it, or a long way to go? Uh, a bit of both, I think. You have to be realistic in your first year. Like, I'd love to come out and set the world on fire every week, but it's probably not the realistic thing. So I've been happy with uh, gradual improvements each week. Um, I think I'm improving certain aspects as well, but obviously lots to improve on. You just suppose been... moving away from home, you know, you're still a young kid. And like, obviously it's hard to leave South Australia and stuff, but to come in, start performing pretty well, and to win this, it's sort of been yeah. a satisfying moment for you along those lines that you have found your feet fairly quickly. Yeah, I guess there's a little bit of, uh, I guess, just I put a bit of individual pressure on myself. I just want to perform well, so I guess it's a bit of recognition that I've, I've played a good game. But, um, yeah, I've settled in really well, and with all the other young guys playing, it's probably helped out as well. We can sort of get through it together. Um, but, yeah, it's been really, really enjoyable. How much has that young list sort of helped you come into a club and, and sort of settle in the fact that there are so many do you sort of pull together? Yeah, a little bit. I guess it's not quite as intimidating. I guess walking into a club, you've got we had what at least half a dozen other other guys coming in this year as well. So um, yeah, you do look out for each other a little bit, I guess, and you ride each other with the success and help each other out as well. What's Lepper told you his expectations were for you for this year? Uh, well, I didn't really put any pressure on me as such. I think he just wanted me to all the young guys just to enjoy yourself firstly and get in and just try and play your role, that's about it, just um, try and play your role and improve. Is there a bit of a sense of relief around the club this week and certainly among the playing group just to, just to get a win, it's been a pretty tough initiation this season? Yeah, there probably is a little bit of relief I guess, um, we, we knew it was going to be a tough first six weeks, we had a pretty tough draw so um, yeah, 0 on 5 doesn't sound great so it's good to get that first one off the board and hopefully we can keep building from that. How's the spirit among the boys? Yeah, we've been, we've been pretty good the whole time, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we obviously the young list, but we, we've seen things come together a little bit and we see that we're improving. We just haven't been able to do it for a whole game, so we've, we've, uh, we've still seen the positives. Mate, you're, you're obviously from a footy family. Have you got much uh, sort of feedback from, from your old man sort of through, the, through the season so far? Uh, well, mum and dad have come up to the first five games, they missed this one, um, which they're disappointed about. But uh, yeah, my whole family's I've kept in, kept in contact pretty much the whole time, and, and they're pretty pretty happy for me that I was able to, to get this one. Now, have you ever totted up how many miles they've travelled and sort of watching you in various places? No, yeah, but they're, they're clocking it up. They're getting the frequent flyers, that's for sure. But um, no, they love it. Um, yeah, I guess, like I said, they're disappointed they missed this one, but they'll be up again soon. Hopefully we can get a win with them there. Mate, you, you mentioned the younger yeah, mentioned the younger list a bit, but in terms of just being comfortable away from home, have there been other sort of senior people or even within the coaching group or the ministry group who have made, made the move to Brisbane more comfortable? Um, I think the special thing is probably at least 90% of the whole list, including coaches, are interstate, so there is that sort of family feel to it that you're all together. Um, like it's sort of been noted before, having Simon Black is my mentor, I guess. He's been pretty special and he's looked out for me a little bit and 
Uh, I've moved in with Dan Rich, Rowe Buick and then Louis Taylor as well, so that's made it pretty enjoyable. Um, there's, yeah, there's lots of other players like Brent Maloney and Luke McGron, I, and they've sort of looked after me and taken me out a little bit and yeah, it's, it's good fun. Given I might have to, yeah. The, the drinks? I might have to, but nah. <laughs> oh, I want to win with them there, it'd be good. Let's talk about you being higher up in the draft and stuff like this, and you've got with number seven, which is still obviously pretty good. But winning this, does that make that a little bit more satisfying that you are making a bit of a mark for yourself so early in your career? I probably don't really think about the draft at all anymore, to be honest. Once you get to a list, it sort of doesn't matter. You're just there and you're equal. But uh, like I said, just within myself, I'm happy that I've been able to just improve my game and, and add to the team a little bit. What's been toughest? What's been, if you could put your finger on, you know, as a young bloke coming through and trying to make, you made the list there, what's been the toughest thing for you in this little journey, this short journey so far? Well, I think the thing is, you just every day you have to um, just really try and improve every single day, especially through pre-season where it's tough. You're, you sort of eat, sleep, train, just repeat that um, every day. So that's probably the hard thing, just trying to improve every day and that's the only way you're going to be as good as you can be. Did having a taste of, it's not obviously an NFL footy, but did having a taste of seeing the footy down in South Australia before you came up here, did that sort of prepare you a little bit for what's coming on here? Yeah, I definitely think it would have. Um, it's probably the best initiation a junior player could have, I think. I was able to play with listed players and, and train with them and then play against them as well. So I guess I, I learned a little bit of what it takes and just see how, how those guys do it, which definitely helped.